Now we've been going over chemical and physical reactions. Looking at standard 5B, the law of conservation of matter states that during a chemical reaction, the total number of atoms and total mass stays the same. So the law of conservation of matter states that the total number of atoms and the mass remains the same during any chemical reaction. So I'm going to test this by using basically some baking soda, which I put inside this tissue, and some vinegar, which I place inside this flask. So as the reaction occurs, the mass remain the same. Right now it's showing about 200 grams. So I'm going to place the baking soda in the flask. Give it a little whirl. Start it here. And there goes the reaction. You see some bubbling occurring here. Of course, there is a problem though. You notice the mass is actually dropping. Hmm, I wonder why. I understand why it seems as if some of the mass was lost. We have to examine this reaction more closely. We know that we were using vinegar, combined it with baking soda. Now, if we count the number of atoms, we see that we had three carbon atoms, five hydrogen, five oxygen, and one atom of sodium. Now, after the reaction took place, we were creating sodium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide. And if we were to recount the number of atoms, we see that we still have three carbon atoms, five hydrogen atoms, five oxygen, and one atom of sodium. So the mass should have been the same. But when examining the reaction more closely, we saw that there was bubbling occurring. Some of the CO2 escaped. So when we actually calculated the mass, we weren't calculating the entire product. Some of it had been lost. So to test to see if the mass is conserved, I need to design a way of actually trapping all of the product. That way, if any of the CO2 tries to escape, it's trapped within the balloon. That way, I can measure the entire mass being produced after this reaction. So you can see here though, I do have the vinegar and the baking soda placed inside the flask, the balloon trapping it all in. Yet the total mass is still 200 grams. So we're going to see if that actually holds true after the reaction takes place. So I'm going to take the flask here, I'm going to push in the, there we go, and it's now reacting. But notice all the product is being trapped within the balloon. So I can now measure the entire mass before and after the reaction. And if you look, you'll see that it's still holding at 200 grams. All the mass was conserved. So the law of conservation of matter does hold true, and the number of atoms remains the same before and after the reaction. So let's re-examine this reaction one more time. We used vinegar and combined it with baking soda. Before the reaction, we measured the mass, came up with about 200 grams. But then allowed the two to mix, creating a new product. This produced carbon dioxide, sodium acetate, and water. This time we trapped the carbon dioxide and remeasure the mass of the entire product. Came up with 200 grams of again. So as you can see, in a chemical reaction, the number of atoms and the total mass remains the same. This is a science prediction.